All right, we're live. Okay, I am still setting up a little bit. I'm kind of late a little, just a little bit, a couple of minutes. Uh, this is what we're painting. And I just need to check, make sure that I have, that I've responded to everybody's questions before I hopped on live. I think I'm good. Okay, I want to make sure that I see myself and I am not seeing myself just yet. Hmm. Okay, guys, who's here? Say hi. Hi and tell me where you're watching. Are you on YouTube or, or you're in the group? Just say group or, you know, Luba's group or YouTube, something. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, I see you. Yes. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna switch into a couple of things. Okay, all right, let me turn this up just for a second so you guys can see me. Hi! <laughs> all right, I'm trying a new thing. My hair is awful today, so I'm wearing a hat. Okay, here's what I'm doing right now, and this is why I thought I will show you guys. So uh, we don't always paint on canvas, right? We don't always have uh, uh, we don't always have canvas. So and sometimes when you paint on acrylic, uh, what's it called? Acrylic, ready for acrylic paper? I don't know, something like that. Yeah, it's very heavy and uh, here and it has it has canvas texture to it right but uh once i pull it out it's real like i can't put it on the easel so what i do is i pull it out oh don't tear it okay and then i have a super trusty acrylic board it's just acrylic nothing else just a square and so I will put it on this board and I will tape it and I'll use my painter's tape if I find it okay it's been it's been a week here you guys so yeah we had a week we had we had hail that uh, beat up on our cars and our roof, and yeah, it wasn't wasn't great. Okay, but we're painting, and that's what we're doing. This is why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I'm gonna need to paint it flat on the table. We're gonna start flat on the table and then I'm gonna move it on the easel. You don't have to move it up on the easel. If you don't have an easel, you can paint on the table. But I suggest to start flat because we're gonna add um, texture with bubble wrap. So we are gonna need bubble wrap, okay? So here's the, uh, if I can turn it, no, I can't at all. So here. Okay, so I have a whole pile of paint here, so I'm gonna be uh, mixing and trying different paints. We'll see how that goes. Let me bring this up. Cheryl been doing yard work all day, so she's looking forward to this. Oh my gosh, I so relate. I feel like I was a go, go, go all day also. And then all of a sudden at 6.35 and I'm like, oh my gosh, I am not even close to having things set up. <laughs> okay. Some things, hold on, I need just to tighten it so we don't, so my camera doesn't, doesn't drop. Okay. So you get a great view of this. Wonderful. Wonderful. So I'm going to bring my other my face <laughs> down so that I can see what's going on if somebody's telling me something. Uh, I guess that's too low. Hello again. 
Okay. I feel like I'm at the, at the controllers of like a spaceship. I have so much stuff around and everything has buttons and everything's digital and it's like, ah, oof. Okay. If you had a stressful day, if you had a lot to do, let's just take a slow inhale. I need this for me. <laughs> and exhale. And another one. And exhale. Okay. Good. <laughs> so if you did use a tracer, you're good. If you did not use a tracer, you're good. I'm going to try and follow the reference. So our tulips, I'm going to try and make them the same, you know, to a degree as possible. I probably changed this one. I don't like that it's facing that way. I'll make it facing upwards. But um, here's what we're going to do. So we're going to divide our paper in threes, OK? And we kind of make this mental line, little line. Don't paint it all over because you don't. Oh, uh, maybe we could actually because this vase is clear. Huh, I didn't think about that. Look at that. That's a that's a something I should have noticed. It's a clear vase sitting on a dark background and it didn't show. That's that's not right. Okay, so. Let's do the wall first. We're going to go, we're going to start painting from top to bottom straight lines. And I'm going to use my three quarter inch paintbrush. And I'm using this for my palette. This is where I'm going to put my paints on. So I am going to use like a cold blue and a warm blue. So that brings me to cobalt blue and uh, sky blue for two tones. And I might put a little bit of white in there to just make it a little bit lighter. Okay. So let's, let's start with our blues and let's get to paint. So uh, this is the way this goes, right? Uh, we paint for an hour and then we take about a five minutes break if we need to get a refill of water or whatnot. And then we come back and we paint for another hour. Sometimes the painting goes fast and uh, then we don't need to take a break like that. And then we just kind of, you know, kind of push it through and get done by 8.30 and sometimes it doesn't happen. So I just, <laughs> yeah, let's just kind of hold on to that. Hold on to that thought, okay? So I'll have my flat, three quarter inch flat and we're gonna start painting. I'm gonna let me look back, yeah, no. I am never sure if I should be waiting for more people because like, you know, the event shows that um, like there's 15 people coming. So I'm not sure if I should be waiting, if I should be calling from the rooftops. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So I'm just going to grab a little bit, just a little bit of the sky blue with water. Okay, and I'm going to use it to make this line for me so that I don't go over it. So this is going to be my, mm, maybe a bit lower here, like that. So this is going to be my line, okay? And then I'm going to grab some uh, light blue, uh, sky blue on one side, and what did I say, cobalt blue on the other, and I am just going to stripes in here oh I forgot I forgot I forgot if you haven't started yet put some water on your canvas it's probably thirsty just put some water on it first like um yeah just get your damp brush and give your canvas some water so it doesn't 
like you know just go crazy hi vanessa welcome okay so you i show this every time if you're new to me this is ultra fine mist sprayer i really like them because it gives me very easy control on water and so i just go up and down now since i'm working on paper remember it might buckle up it's okay do not worry about it it will dry it will be fine okay so again one side of the brush sky blue the other side of the brush cobalt blue and just adding lines going up and down sometimes this kind of things is easier to do on the table and sometimes it's easier to do on the easel i think it depends on your preference and what works for you better but i'm working from my shoulder okay my shoulder kind of makes it hey <laughs> facebook <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> um yes so you do not want to use your wrist for that your wrist will get super tired and that's not what we want here okay so i want a little bit more of sky blue in here just a kind of a lighter different tone so i'm gonna put that in and then i'm gonna add a little bit more of cobalt blue for the stripe see like my my paper is super thirsty it's kind of it's the beginning and it's, it's always like that at the beginning it's like soaking us up and i just like oh hey how much more paint do you need right i don't know if you ever talk to your paper i do all the time talk to my paper to my brushes i talk to it all okay i need more cobalt blue so i'm just going to throw it on to my palette over here y'all if you can invest in palette paper it's amazing if you can invest in gray palette paper i am in love i may be late to the <laughs> train of you know artists here to the bandwagon but i absolutely love that like I can see the color so well as for like when you put it on white paper the color comes up a little bit lighter and brighter not the way you will see it on your in your work so just kind of adding here and there so i'm trying to create like a random stripe pattern nothing um, uh, nothing particular really just added a little bit more water to my brush and going back I just like to cover all the whites I don't like them sticking out so I'm just kind of adding a little bit of water to help cover all the white okay our next step is going to be the um, um, bubble wrap which i thought i pulled out and i haven't so give me just one second it's right here around the corner for me and of course i left my paper it's all, all the way there okay here's my paper towel here's this okay Trying not to make more mess than I need, right? Creative mess. Okay. So here's my bubble wrap. Just regular bubble wrap, nothing complicated. Bubble side up, flat side down. I'm gonna get some white. I'm gonna put it on my little palette here. Okay, I'm gonna get some water on my brush. Here we go. Water on the brush. 
what then wet brush goes into this white paint okay i'm gonna try and scooch this over so you can see better oh i think you can see it okay and i'm gonna paint this whole puppy i'm just gonna paint it white the whole thing and uh, when we're done with that i'm going to show you how to save it and then how to reuse the same piece of bubble wrap if you are like me and you don't like uh, wasting things or like you know adding things to the landfill that kind of this kind of helps that we can bubble up like I've been using I've been I used this many 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 times before so just make sure that all your bubbles are covered with paint just like that okay okay brush in the water give me just a second I'll check because last time I um, I did this in the group I had a few people sending me messages that they couldn't get in and I didn't see them so I have um, I have it open on a different screen so that I can see just in case okay so I'm just going to line up the corner you don't have to make it straight okay you can go turn it turn it kitty corner it's just you will have to fill in all the areas if that's what you like to do so i'm just gonna put it down whoa and lightly but firmly <laughs> press it down and then i'm gonna grab it on the corners two up corners and i'm just gonna lift whoa nice huh okay now we're gonna repeat you don't need to reapply paint there's plenty of paint on here going up repeat same pattern up. see okay and then i'm gonna do the sides i'm gonna do this side here just like that and again look see there's more than enough paint for this and this is not important here because because that's where tulips are going to be and the top dun, 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 dun. and left nice okay then bubble side up i just to save it i fold it over on itself like this so it kind of sort of seals it and then i like to do a quarter which doesn't really matter and i put it to the side okay and then i just wash it in the sink under running water with a sponge or i have a soft brush that i use soft brush and a little bit of soap and i rub 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 and it gets clean and you can use it again okay now i remember i told you guys to bring um hair blowers because we're gonna need to hair dry this puppy because look it's it is so wet we can't paint on that i mean we can but i choose not to because you know what i'm thinking now let's paint the bottom first i took the yeah okay the bottom we're gonna do the bottom with just cobalt blue and uh we're gonna paint it the lines we're gonna go across Okay, getting my brush from out of the water after using all of that white. So rinsing the white. I'm still deciding if I like this bucket over here. 
Do you see it? Yeah, this bucket over here. Like it has textured bottom. I don't know if you can see with a lot of paint on there now. And uh, I thought they were like, that was a genius idea and whatnot. And I cannot decide if I like it or not. It's kind of clunky a little bit. I think I like to swoosh wash my, my brush a lot. So, okay, whatever. Now, a little bit of water. Just kind of wake up the canvas. Good morning, canvas, even though it's not morning. Wakey, wakey. Time to paint you. Okay. Wet brush. Some of this cobalt blue paint. And just drag it across. Oh, I love it. Now, because I'm painting on paper, paint uh, behaves a little bit differently from when you paint on canvas. So, like, I think you have to have a super wet canvas to, to get some, like, effect like this. But that's not my goal. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to get a solid cobalt blue in here. So, it might take a minute, but it will soak in and it will be great. Why did I put this cobalt separate from this cobalt blue? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know why would I do that. Okay, okay, here we go. So I'm gonna start drying. If if you're doing freehand with me, if you have access to chalk, that would be super helpful. I totally forgot to tell you that, guys. So if you have access to chalk, grab a piece of chalk, just regular chalk. Um, if not, that's fine. We can work without it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to sneeze now. <laughs> Maybe not. I hope not. I have this specific kind of allergy that turns on what I'm doing live. Like, I'll be fine all day long, and then I'll start doing live, and what do you know, half hour in, I start to sneeze. <laughs> all right, my friends, I'm going to mute you, me. I'm going to mute myself for just a little bit, especially if I find my mouse, because it's, it's on, two, on two screens, and it gets interesting sometimes okay i'm muting for blow dryer give me like a minute i'll be back All right, I think we're good enough. I, I like making faces <laughs> while I'm doing that because I'm not talking to you. Okay, our next step. I just told you to get chalk if you have it. Here's mine. Uh, you totally don't, don't have to have it. Okay, but it just helps. So... The vase, the vase here, 
I just like to kind of mark things down so that we can kind of, you know, work around it. So here's the vase. Here's the oval, and then there is the oval, and it sits off to the side, so we really do not need the other side of it, okay? So, um, stops kind of in the quarter way, so stops kind of here, and so I'm just gonna mark for myself that this is the opening of my vase okay and then it sits on the bottom over kind of here and then it extends to the about a third like that and so that kind of helps right so there's our bottom and whatever we don't need once your acrylic is dry, you can just grab a damp paper towel and, you know, rub easy, lightly, and all your chalk will go away, okay? And then we're going to add a curvy line. If you're using a tracer, you do not need to do this, but if, if you decided to freehand it as we go, here you go. Just add a curvy line and we have the base okay that's all we need for the tulips we don't even i don't even think we need anything like that uh, my white paint is not completely dry but i'm not gonna be too concerned about it what i did forget though i forgot my black give me just a second i will grab my black 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 here is Okay, so we're going to start with tulips. We're going to paint tulips first, the flowers, okay? For that, to start, we're going to need, this is dry, because I want you to see what I'm doing. We're going to need some white, like a, yeah, like a blob. Not too big of a blob, you don't, you don't need much, okay? I hate wasting paint. That's a whole different story. And like, uh, can you think like a sunflower seed size? Yeah, just a little bit of black. That's all we need. That is all we need. Is Facebook gonna tell you that she's singing? I hope not. I do not own the rights to this music. Okay. And we're going to switch the brush, okay? So here I'm working on the, I think it's 11 by 14-ish. So I'm just going to work with this filbert brush. It's a number eight, but it gives you a good idea, yeah, compared to the... Oh, you know what? I've heard... <laughs> I was watching this tutorial on something. And the lady that was teaching, she's she's tiny, she's petite, right? And she was trying to show us the sizes of her brushes compared to her hand. Well, her hand is a child child size, it's real small. So you know what she started doing? She started comparing it to her nose. And then she was she's going at the camera and like, okay, and this is the size of music compared to my nose. <laughs> I cracked me up. Okay, a little bit of water. A little bit of black, not much. A little bit of white over to the side. And mix. We want gray. Okay, maybe more black. Because we want gray gray. Not too dark gray. Not dark dark gray, but gray gray. Like gray, enough gray that if you put it onto paper, you see that it's gray. It's not off white, it's gray. Okay, I hope I'm making sense. All right, this is good enough. So, we're gonna paint the shapes of our tulips first. So we're making the base. We're making the base for our flowers. Um, now I know why all the ladies on, uh, on lives that are teaching, why they all wear hats. Because once I have a hat, I can deal with the light. Otherwise it's like, ah, it's all in my eyes. It's much easier. Okay, tangent again. 
we're painting the base for the flowers okay because if we start putting magenta directly on this uh, background it's not gonna look pretty right so we're gonna kind of do that so the first one sits right here i believe right here and it faces this way and it's a decent size so i'm just gonna start with the u just like that and then i'm gonna think okay there is a so maybe so that you can see right so there is this petal here and this one the back petals so i'm gonna i think i think i got a little bit too high so i'm gonna try and bring this a little bit lower i'm painting on my tape so this is the back the back um uh, petals okay and then there is the middle petal and that's it that's all we need and we're just gonna cover up this whole cover up this whole shape just like that just making sure that there's no blue no dots seeping through blocked all right I think my camera is a little bit at an angle and so it's not hold on yeah no this way maybe i don't know if i'm helping my case here i don't think so well it works let me know if this doesn't work and then i'll mess with it oh this is the point where um i told you that you can move your painting onto the and onto an easel. I'm not going to do this because it's going to take me forever to switch the camera around. Okay, next one is kind of up high also and kind of is like that and then like that. Just kind of do curvy lines. It really doesn't matter at this point. And then allow space for, for the petals, for different petals like that. And then just paint, paint the rest. Just cover it up gray. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be great. Okay. Hi, Ginger. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Now there is another one almost underneath, but at a different angle. And another way you can do this, you just kind of make a U, like a cauldron. Yeah. And then you go the you make the petals go out like that, like oh my gosh, devil horns. <laughs> okay. I know. And then just kind of add some space for extra petals, not extra petals, but for the petals. And we're good. So working with this gray, see you don't need much of that. Okay, now there is this one that kind of got away. So I'm just gonna make it over here and just kind of pretend that you can also do it this way. You can pretend that this is where the petals are, right? And then just add the space for them so that you have room to put them in. And there we go. I really like tulips. I like when they're like big, big flowers. They are so, so, so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Okay. Okay. And so in my reference uh, painting that I did earlier, we have this one that 
faces over to that side. I don't really like this anymore. So if you have a tracer and you're kind of um, iffy about changing it, you know, just do that. But if if you're okay with changing it, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna make it facing upwards, okay? I'm kind of out of paint a little bit, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more to here so that I have enough. And uh, um, this one, it's kind of, yeah, it kind of is going to overlap this other one. So I'm just gonna uh, grab the area and I'm not gonna mess with this right now. Um, this is gonna be the last tulip to paint. We're gonna paint it after that one dries, okay? So we're just kind of holding space for him. We know that, okay, there is another one. This guy is right here. Okay. So the next question is, what should we do with leaves? Do we want to do leaves right now and let them dry? Or do we want to move on? I want to do leaves right now. I don't know why I'm asking these questions. So I'm just going to need a little bit more black because we need to block that blue and we need to make sure that our green shows through. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit of water into my brush. I'm going to grab some white into here, some black to this area again. I do not remember what I used. I don't think I used the filbert. Okay, let's change the brush. Filbert is going to be real messy in this case. We do not want that, okay? So, rinsing my filbert. I'm just going to put it down. And I'm going to grab around the brush. This is a number 10. That's too big. Let's do a number four. This is a number four. This will work perfect. This will be perfect. So a little bit of water to just kind of make my paint flow. Now the thing is that while I'm painting, the white is drying. So here what I do is I mist a little bit of water on my palette and then my paint doesn't dry so fast and I get more use out of it. Okay, so so this is my first tulip over here. So I'm going to give it this kind of stem, right? Over here, not the stem, it's not the stem, it's this holder, like this little part that holds, holds the flower to the stem, okay? And then we need to bring it all the way here. So we're going to kind of bring it all the way here. And then I'm going to start at the bottom and repeat this line just like that. Doesn't need to be perfect because it's going to be filled up with greens. So it's all going to look good. Okay. My um, round brushes don't like to be thirsty at all. So I just dipped it in the water. And here's this one. And I'm just gonna bring it right here. And, and I stop in the middle of the bottom over here, okay? I don't go all the way down to this line. Okay, stop in the middle. If you did go to that line already, grab a wet wipe, or I mean a baby wipe, if you have a baby wipe, or a wet or damp uh, paper towel or something, and just clean it up. While it's wet, it will go off, okay? It will come off. Okay. This one. Did you ever notice how tulips sometimes, like their um, stems are like this? They're like, yeah, 
They're super interesting. So this one is facing up. But then it's going down because it needs to be needs to be in the water, right? So it kind of escaped. I'm going to put a little bit more white into this and a little bit more black. There. I'm not getting much paint. Yeah. Okay. And this one is doing the same thing. It's kind of going <laughs> like that. So here is his center. I'm finding his center first. Kind of giving him his center. And then I'm going to let him go up like that. And then also go back into the into the vase. There. And of course, this one, this baby needs to get into the water. Okay, so that one is just kind of down, straight down for me. Okay, so here we are. This is where we're going to stop right now. I want to paint the, um, we're going to paint the stems first, and then we're going to add the leaves. Okay. I'm going to rinse my brush. Keep chalking. Keep checking, making sure that everybody sees me. This looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh, you could have done like, you could do like silver tulips. I look at my screen. Oh, this looks so cool. Okay, I don't need much, right? <laughs> All right, so let me see. Okay, so. The reference painting here that we did I did before. Um, the top ones are like magenta and white, and the real bottom, like bottom bottom one, is magenta. And then these guys are like red and yellow and orange. And this is like magenta and white, and I see a little bit of orange, so probably that's yellow. And this one has like light blue for highlights. So let's start with magenta and we're going to start building the colors up. Okay. If you have questions, do not hesitate. Just plug them in. I will see them. I will answer. I'm going to use, so for this, I really like using a, like a bigger, thicker round brush. I don't know. Let me see. I think this one would work. It's a number ten. It says it's not the it's not the biggest um, round brush you can find out there. Obviously, there's bigger ones, but I think this will do nicely. This will do. Okay, let's put some magenta on the palette. I'm just gonna. This is dry. I'm just going to put it right here because, 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 because I can. Somebody says the bubble effect is from bubble wrap. Yes, Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. Arrived late. That's okay. Uh, the replay will be available. I'm not sure if you can, um, what's it called? Oh my gosh. If you can rewind on uh, Facebook Live, I don't know, but yeah, it will be available if you want to see, but yes, this is bubble wrap. Okay, Oof. let's put some magenta on. I'm just going to start with magenta, okay? So here's how I do this. I start with the center, the front center um, uh, petal right here. 
because you kind of have to start somewhere. And the round brush allows me to have this sharp kind of petal shape. Okay. So here we are. Then I go to either side. So right now I'm on the right side. And I'm going to close into this U shape. Okay. And then I'm just going to close it in like this. See what happened? And then I'm going to do the other side the same way down and just close it in. This is just the base color again. We're just making base magenta now. Okay. Can't rewind, but we'll look, look back after. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Okay. And then I just go back and I add those little, um, the tulip petals that stick up from behind. And at first you won't be able to see them. Okay. And that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Okay, here goes this this one. I'm just going to start at the center. And you can start on the sides. I mean, if it's easier, right? It would definitely be easier to do on the easel because you can, like, it glides easier. But this will work. And then I'm doing my sides. Got a little bit over the line, but that's okay. And here. And then the petals that are sticking out from behind, from the back. There we go. All right. I'm going to turn myself a little bit. All right. And here is this one. Again, Start at I start at the top, in the middle, kind of round and down the best I can. Does not need to be perfect. Um, make sure your brush isn't thirsty though, because if your brush is thirsty, it'll start dragging the paint and that's, that's a pain. Okay. Here's one. Here's another. So that's three petals. And here's two more coming from the back. Okay, like that. I'm gonna rinse out my brush. Yeah, okay. So now we need to do these two, but I can't do uh, this one because it needs to overlap. Okay, so I'll wait for this to be finished. So let's let's finish the magenta ones and then we'll work on the other ones. So grab some white and just repeat what you just did with white. Maybe add a little bit more of water. So see how it defines your your petal now. Now you can see it much better. Okay. And then the other one. And the other side. Yeah. 
And then you can go back up and take care of that. And then you can always go back, get a little bit more white and add some more white to this petal up front. So it is more defined and is more visible. I was so tempted today because we're painting tulips. I finally got my fluorescent pink in. I've been waiting for it for a very long time. It just happened. I don't know why. Um, and I had the hardest time. I was like, no, Luba, you said you told them to bring magenta. <laughs> so we're going to paint with magenta, not the fluorescent pink. But oh my gosh. Okay. Um, here again, here's my center petal. Here we go. And you can feel easily when your brush starts sticking to your canvas, to the paper, to the paint you're painting on. You will feel it right away. You will know that, okay, that's a dry brush I need. That's a thirsty brush. I need to get some more water for it. Yeah. A little bit more white. Goes this one. You see, they don't have to be completely the same. You can make... You can make the other petals more white, like it doesn't have to be the center petal that's lighter. See, like that. Just don't be afraid to play with colors. Tulips are super colorful, and so tulips are really, tulips really like color. So yeah, do not be afraid of... Oh, sounds like my boys are watching Star Wars now. Can you hear? Okay, and here's the missing petals that kind of got away from me here, but you can always add them, not a big deal. Um, I can always add more color. Like, I don't like this. It looks washed out a little bit, so I'm going to go grab more magenta and just add that to to the front petal, just a little, look, just a little bit needed, and it's good, yeah? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do, and this is perfect. We're gonna paint this uh, last magenta one, and we're gonna take a five minutes break, and it'll give us just enough time for everything to dry so that we can paint the orange ones without pulling the magenta ones. Okay, there. A little bit more white maybe. It really doesn't have to be. There we go. And there we go. There. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more white to this one. Do not be afraid to play with that. Don't be afraid of your paint, okay? Just kind of add things and step back a little and look and see if you like it. If you like it, keep it. If you don't like it, you can always repaint it. It's just paint. Okay. There. I kind of like it. I'm not super happy with this, buddy. So I'm just going to add a little bit more magenta to the sides. I don't know what I don't like about it just yet. I can't 
quite a bit of finger on it. You know what? I might just add some yellow to it. Mm -hmm. I really like this one. This one is very cute. Or maybe it's because there's so much magenta in the middle that it kind of throws me off with the center. Here, let's, let's play with this a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. What is happening? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Likey. I like. Okay. Let's let's grab a break right here because this is logical. Okay. If you have any questions, ask. I'm gonna go grab my water, which I totally forget forgot to get. Never forget the water for the paints, but always forget the water for myself. So I'm going to grab my glass of water and I'll be back in just a minute or two. Okay, so no, not a minute or two, five minutes break. All right, let me see. Okay, not seeing any questions. Do I have a five minutes break banner? Yes, I do. All right, see you in a minute.
All right. <laughs> I always start talking before I turn the, the mic back on. All right. Okay, let's get back to this. So, so in the header of this post, you probably saw I said something in the lines of, if you'd like to support what I do, buy me a coffee. <laughs> Uh, if you will buy me a coffee, which is buymeacoffee.com slash Luba Carlson, I will send you this sticker over here that I drew. Oh, that's good enough. That was on the top. It's a what? It's a two inches size sticker. And... Okay, let me see, kind of, just to make sure that I'm not making, you know, promises. Yes, white background. It's white background, and you can even color it with Sharpies if you would like. So, buy me a coffee, get a sticker. Oh, whoa, shiny, shiny. Well, shows here much better, especially if you have a planner. That would look so cute in your planner. Okay. Moving on. Who's ready? Who is ready? Who is ready? Let's see. Is this dry? Ooh, nice. This is dry. It's going to work great. Okay, let me mess a little bit. I'm here. Okay, let's get some red. Where is my red? Red, red. Here's my red. It's called vermilion red, so it's a little bit on the orange side. But it's pretty good red. I like it. So there's some red. And we're going to get some yellow. So listen, okay, yellow is kind of interesting. Not only is it super transparent, so it, this is why we had to block off the blue, but there is also a warm yellow. And there is also a cool yellow, like a yellow. Oh, that's yellow pale. That's not the right one. I meant lemon yellow. I wanted to use lemon yellow. I grabbed the wrong one from the box. Or lemon yellow. Or you know what? This lemon pale looks like very close to this lemon yellow, right? So depending on which one we'll use, we would get a different effect when we mix it with our red. And previously, I used warm yellow and so it got me this kind of color but now i want to use a cool yellow so i'm going to mix it with lemon yellow there is no right or wrong choose oops sorry choose what you like okay i just want to i just want to do that and play with that and you know when an artist wants to play there is no way stopping now. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out a way to play. All right, y'all. So red, lemon yellow, white. And I'm going to use all three at the same time. I know, mind blown. Okay, so some red, some yellow on the same brush, some white. If I don't use any white, this is going to be hard to cover. There is lots of color to cover. Okay. So I'm going to start from here. And I'm going to start on this. On this um, side. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to go back. Grab a little bit of water. I'm going to go back. Make my... Petal. Oh, look at this yummy color. Okay, red, yellow, white. Every time. The side. Oh. Right? Are you seeing what I'm seeing on yours? Is yours doing the same thing? Look at that. Look at that yumminess. Okay, and the little petals in the back. And I'm just going to let it sit for a little while. 
I wonder if I turn my light a little bit off to the wall, if there will be a little bit less glare. What do you think? Is it? Is this a little bit better? <laughs> a little bit less glare? Okay, Doc. Next one. Um, same system, right? Red, some yellow, some white. Whoa. It's kind of a lot. I think I picked up some gray. Okay, take it off. All right, start in the middle again, just the way I do this. Oh my gosh, I just love when colors do that. Do you see this? Like when colors go like this. Like they, there. Oof. Yeah, I just love that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Middle, a little bit of water on the brush, there, in the sides, in the sides, bring this back, maybe define the middle a little bit better, we'll come back to this, it's not done and the back the little back petals put a little bit more white on this one so that it will block this bubble and then going back this petal kind of define it a little bit more okay All right, I'm now going for, I'm going to grab some white and the yellow, just white and yellow, no more red, but I'm using the same Mesa brush. So there's a little bit red left, but I'm just using white and yellow, okay? And I'm going to go back to this front petal, and I'm just going to make it a little bit brighter and what I was left over on my brush I'm using for these side petals totally need a little bit more water okay a little bit more water there we go So something like that. Okay, and I'm going to repeat for the other one. I'm just going to wipe my brush off on a paper towel, like there is a lot of orange on it. And again, I'm going to grab some white, and I'm going to grab some of this lemon yellow, and I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of adding a little bit more of glow and color to this, rather than it's just kind of boring orange. There. And then whatever's left over, I'm just going to brush on the tips. Just a dry brush on the tips. And then the tips for those petals that are hiding in the back. And I think this looks good. Okay. Let's talk green for the stems. Oh, yeah. So greens are interesting. Uh, greens are interesting in a sense that um, they're complicated. Like, I hate telling that to people, you know. So, honestly, I've been avoiding green for months. I would not even touch green. If something had greenery on it, I would be like, nope, not painting it, hands up. 
<laughs> done <laughs> leave no 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 and then i kind of started um i think what helped me is into it with watercolors uh with watercolors i felt like it was easier for me to get into it and so then i kind of started to feel it a little bit more but y'all greens are hard they're still hard and they will be hard and there is nothing we can do about it but we can play with different shades to achieve different results okay so i'm gonna take this one off and i'm gonna this is the oh well okay i forgot this paper not the paper please okay so i still have this i'm gonna spray a little bit of water on it Okay, and I'm just going to put it over to the side just in case if I need it because <laughs> I told you I hate wasting paint and if I decide that I need like a yellow or you know whatever it's already there and I don't need to get more but I'm going to need this full thing and I'm going to try and bring my light back and I'm sorry if there is some glare but like you have to have light okay to see color all right whoops no it's dry it just got stuck for some reason okay so let's talk green okay so there is this one most greens well, most greens all greens you can mix by yourself you can mix blue and yellow to get a green okay the why is why this can be a little bit complicated is because it depends on what kind of yellow you're mixing in and what kind of blue you're mixing in so if you're mixing like i showed you lemon yellow and the sky blue that is that the sky blue no that's cobalt blue sky blue whatever uh that's going to give you a different green then if you mix a warm yellow <laughs> and a cobalt blue okay and then there is like this significant magnificent amount of different blues different yellows what to mix uh, it's a lot okay so here's what i was thinking we're gonna start so this is yellow green i imagine to get yellow green <laughs> you would need to mix if you're mixing your own colors it would take a sky blue okay and a cold yellow like a lemon yellow and that would get you a yellow green and this is what i like to start with as i paint um, um stems and leaves and all of that because from this i can always go up okay it's harder to go it's harder to go down sometimes um and then <clears throat> to make it easier on myself and on you i will just i'm just gonna put a little bit of cobalt blue on here on this pad and i'm gonna add a little bit of sky blue Right here, whoa, never comes like a little bit out of this pouch. And then I'm gonna put a dot of deep yellow. I don't think I'm gonna need this kind of thing, but we'll just save it. And the yellow pale. This will work, look. You can see the difference in tones, right? They are different. Okay, and so, um, when we move on to leaves we're just going to start adding different uh, elements to the base green that we already have and this is going to let us do what we want to do okay but to start with we're just going to paint we're just going to start with this green and i'm just going to start with the first tulip and you see how light this is whoa i made a mess because i used a bigger brush and uh, as I teach my kids, <laughs> I tell them, okay, we made a mess. What do we do? We're going to freak out. No. What are we going to do? We're going to grab a baby wipe because acrylics is already dry. And we're just going to go back and wipe it down. There. No big deal, right? 
No need to freak out. But, okay. Wrong brush. Wrong brush, Miss Luba. You needed number four, not the number ten. Okay, let me rinse this one out. Got it. Put it back. Grab this one. See? Much smaller. A lot more control. And also slow down. Okay. Slow down. Do not try. This is not a race. Just slow down. I'm grabbing some green on my brush. And I'm just going to put it right on where this gray is. And maybe even use my finger to clean it up in some spots but I don't feel like it is super important because there's going to be a bunch of leaves that we're going to add so this is all going to look this is all going to be good so this is just the first step okay all right I keep readjusting I wonder Little. Hmm. Okay. I just hope that it shows you the colors and there is not much glare. Sometimes this glare is is super annoying. Right? Okay, I'm trying to think, maybe, maybe if I try and make it a little bit less bright, how's that? Oh, I think it's getting there. It's not as bright in here, but now I'm sitting in the dark. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't. Okay. Just trust me, okay? This is light green and it goes on here. Again, something that may be uh, easier to paint on the easel, but since we started on the table, I really didn't want to move stuff around while you guys are waiting for me to move it. Okay. Here we go. So let me move it around, maybe. Oh, maybe like that. To show you the color. So it's in my main camera now. I moved it. I moved it up. Okay. Yeah. So when I hold it up and I look at it straight, it looks a lot like olive, almost olive green, okay? Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of white from back here. No red, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of white to this green, like this. Voila. And you can get this like very spring, very light color. And uh, I'm gonna just 
maybe put it on some of the stems i'm not sure yeah no all of them it needs to lighten up it's a little bit too dark so i'm just gonna use this color lighten this up a little especially the stems next to the flowers because the other ones I'm not so concerned about because we're going to put the vase and the water in there so they're going to lighten up but this area that holds the flower And I'm going to paint, so look, the stem for this magenta, okay? Not the other one, just the one for magenta. I just added a little bit of more darker green to this lighter green. I'm going to go grab another dot of white to add to this. Yeah. And I'm going to just paint this one. And then... Visually, as you look at it, it'll look like it's um, uh, logistically, right? <laughs> the location of it, it's in front of the orange one. So the orange one is behind. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? Okay, tulips flowers are wild <laughs> in a way. So I'm just grabbing more of this yellow green paint. More, 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 more. And uh, for the leaves, I'm gonna use the number 10 round brush. If you're painting with me, let me know how you're doing. I would love to hear from you. Let me know. Look up, take a breath. <laughs> okay, doc. Number 10, what did I do here? Here's my number 10. All nice and clean and ready. I'm gonna make it a little bit wet. Well, wet, just wet. Okay, I'm going to grab some of this, maybe all of this green, you know, and I'm just going to add, I'm going to take this blue over here and I'm going to add and I'm going to mix. And it's going to give me a much juicier green. And I... I can even decide that it wasn't enough. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more. This is like my favorite kind of painting. I um, So I have this set of Arteza paints, right? And there's like a gazillion of greens and blues and everything. And I noticed that I end up... I, um, enjoy a lot more when I can mix my own okay all right so I'm kind of happy with this so paint um, mix your color mix your color and decide what you like okay and stop at the point where you like it all right so each of these stamps have two pretty wide super long leaves Okay, so I'm just going to start with this one on the side and it's going to cover quite a bit of this tulip. So I want to make sure it's dry. Yep. I'm going to make sure I have enough moisture in my brush because if my brush is dry, my paint won't glide. And that's not cool. I really don't like that. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so I'm just starting at the top and I am gonna slightly curve in, okay? 
And I think, and I apologize if you caught me on this, but anyway, I think I messed up a little bit with my tape, but it'll still work as a painting. Okay. Now, if you see bubbles are still, like you can see the bubbles, right? Ooh, ooh, here, bubbles. Yeah, we don't want them. In this case, if we do not want them, um, I'm out of white on the other one. So I'm just going to put a blob of white. I think white is the color that I use the most. I'm <sighs> going to grab some white, just a little. Mix it in. And this white is going to help us block the undesired elements. See? Just right away. So we're just going to make the first shapes for the leaves. So that's the first one. And I think I'm just going to make it white with white right away. Not too much white though, because I don't want it so bright. I want them darker. Tulip's leaves are quite dark. Okay, now let me see. This, the orange one needs his leaves. So we're gonna start up here, push the brush down, bring it all the way down, and just kind of work it in. So as I start at the top, I'm very light on my brush, and then I push it all the way down, and I kind of press it. Okay. Oh, honey, not like maybe at nine o'clock. I hope at nine. Do you want to kiss? Okay, kiss. Mwah. Love you. Uh, Okay, this is the stem, this is the leaf. See, we're just filling up the space with leaves and did you see what I did? Oy, I completely ignored that there is a vase. The vase is there, there's the line that I totally and completely ignored. Okay, I forgot that we, we have the vase there, here. Let's get back to the top of the leaf and we'll fix it. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, it's almost perfect. Look, it kind of fills the, fill the, the vase perfectly. So we'll just bring it in here so that it keeps filling the base. Okay. Here. And then this one, its leaf is going to follow it. So probably from somewhere here, start somewhere here, and I'm just going to bring it up and into the vase. And another one. See how it all filled up? And then the two on the top. Let's see. This guy is definitely need a leaf. So we're gonna just add it here. I'm just starting to add leaves. Yo, uh, if you're following the tracer, just do the tracer. Or if you want to use what I'm doing, just this is really free flow. Okay, I'm going to add some white to it to just block those bubbles. And we can always come back. A little bit more water on my brush. And here. And there. Just kind of. 
Okay. And now, a little bit more water on my brush, working with the same green. I'm going to mix it all together with whatever had white on it, like all of this, mixing it all together. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it. Oh, well, maybe a little bit more yellow to it. Yep. Here we are. Just a little bit more yellow to it. Okay. And then we're going to use this to create highlight or shadow on our leaf. So choose one side of a leaf, any leaf, and just kind of add. It will add this maybe a little bit more white. And it will make your leaves look like they're not just a mass of you know things but there is uh, some distinction to them yeah something like that so i will just right here Okay. Okay, my friends, we need to let this dry. So I'm just going to run my blow dryer. And while I'm doing that, If you have any questions, ask them. If you want to tell me how you're doing, tell me. I would love, love, love to hear from you. Okay, let me grab my mouse, which I lost again because it's on the other screen. Here we go. Better blow dryer. All right. Okay. My camera froze. We're having trouble. Okay, we're back. Back with extra sound. That's kind of fun. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're good. All right, we're good. Okay, let me real quick check. I just see something popped up. I want to see what is happening. Okay, nothing. Okay, if you send me a message. While I am on live, I will check and see if that's like an, something urgent, like you need a tracer or something. And if it's something else, then I'll respond after after I'm done painting. Okay? I think it's only fair. All right. So we're going to start working on our vase. And for our vase, 
we're gonna need not the round brush well kind of round brush <laughs> so let's grab the size four first and i'll show you what to do so you grab a little bit of white paint over to the side and bring like a lot of water into it we need a lot of water just water it down now this consistency is almost cream maybe thinner than cream not like milk milk is right here i think but i'm gonna use just the tip of my brush to help me remember where my vase is so see what i'm doing i'm just doing this ever so slightly lightly so that's my bottom and that goes over there but we can't see it because there is um all these plants right and that's my it's my front It curves a little bit on the back, on itself, okay? So we've got this. Now we're going to need a flat or a filbert. Hold on. Okay, a flat or a filbert. I'll just use the filbert because that's what I have. And I'm going to put even more water in this. Okay, I just need it to be so, so watery, like this. Okay, and I'm going to use almost a dry brush. And I'm going to go back here and see if that's enough. No, not enough. Maybe I need a little bit more pigment in this. Yes. Just going to make it watery, but make sure that you have some pigment in it. We need slight, slightly white. Perfect, <laughs> perfect paint for this would be, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called. Hold on, I'll show you. So you can do this with this acrylic paint. It works just fine. So we just want to add, yeah, and maybe grab a tiny, tiny bit of blue. Mix it in here. So in the original photo, I only, in the original uh, painting, I only used white. Okay. But yeah, I like the blue in here too. That looks good. And just kind of fog this up. We're just adding the water, right? So it looks like there is something. It's not empty glass. Okay. <sighs> Hold on, I'll, I'll find that paint that I was talking about. I can never remember. Sometimes I can remember things and sometimes it's called transparent, transparent mixing white. And it's so much easier to make like foggy effects. Um, So yeah, I, I painted this big, big one here um, in my studio, the one with butterflies, if you saw it, and that's what I used to, to, to make it. Okay, anyway, coming back, this is not, it's just like that kind of paint is not something that um, a beginner would have normally, like, yeah. So I'm looking at this and I think I want to add a little bit more kind of white to this so that it's a little bit more, especially here on the bottom. And make sure to kind of drag from the side into the center, just like that. Mine doesn't matter here because I have tape. It will all come off. It will be fine. Okay. That's good. Now I'm going to use my 
So it's full round brush again. And I'm going to use my sky blue, tiny bit of sky blue, into this water right here. Just kind of thin it out to like ink consistency, I guess, right? And I'm just going to use it and I'm just going to add like a broken line, like, you know, like the glass looks. So I'm just going to over here and then over here and a little bit where the uh, stems are sitting. Okay. And maybe just a little bit of across like that. I think this is good. This is good, right? Okay, I don't know why I went to the brush. I was going to do something else. Okay, so see this light blue that we just used, the sky blue? Grab a little bit of white with the same brush and add this to it. And you're going to get this blue that really looks like Frozen. Like if you think of the movie Frozen, this is the blue. Okay, and I'm just going to use that. And I'm just going to add some highlights to my tulips. Just lines here and there. Okay. 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 Nothing perfect. Nothing kind of super complicated. Okay. And I'm just adding this to my magenta tulips. Okay. Just a light touch. If you've overdone it, you can always erase it with your baby wipe, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking it. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Good. Clean up your brush. Grab some of this white again. Just make it a runny, runny white so that you can use it with your own brush. And now we're going to add some highlights around the um, petals for the orange tulips. Same way, see, just kind of here and there, doesn't need to be anything in there, just kind of a little bit, okay? There. Ta -da. Okay, if you want to, and I think that would be good. I didn't do this in my original, you know, in our um, reference, but the leaves that are waving, like you can add a little bit of white on the spots where the curve is facing the sun or the top, like this. And maybe add some white so the sun comes from there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white to my tulips. Just like just one side, just the top. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me see, maybe a little bit here, a little bit here, here. It'll also help you see the, oh, that's a different leaf, <laughs> you know? Okay, so how, how we do, how's, how's everybody doing? Okay, so now, Okay, I'm looking back. I don't have any um, any cobalt blue left. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on my 
Scarlet. Cobalt Blue. Y'all invite your friends to the group. I was just like, I just sat here and I just had this <gasps> moment. Invite your friends to the group. <laughs> Do not, please, please don't, uh, please don't add people. People really don't like that. But if you know somebody who, who would like to paint like that online, tell them about this. Tell them that it's available. Maybe they would like to join us. Yeah, like this is, uh, to me, this is therapeutical, and I'm pretty sure to many of you this is helpful. So let's share it with others, shall we? Okay, I have cobalt blue, I have black. I'm mixing black with cobalt blue. I want to make it dark, dark, because I'm going to paint the shadow. The shadow, a little bit of water to just kind of make it work, maybe a little bit more of water. But I think this will work just fine. All right. So the base, base, the sun goes this way. The base is kind of round and it goes that way. And this is hiding. So like this hole. Here we are. There's the shade. And then, now if it's going that way, we won't even see the, the tulip on this side. If the sun was coming from this way, then we would get an elongated shape for the vase, and it will go this way. But we have the sun hitting us this way, which is where all these highlights are coming from. So, yeah, rinse out your brush. Grab your super fine liner or your Sharpie or, you know, whatever it is that you prefer to use. I'm going to use white in a super fine Sharpie. And I'm just going to, I like to write like under, along some sort of a line. So it's not in the middle of the painting. <laughs> and sign your painting. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to put this and that away so that I don't drop it, the palettes. So I don't drop them. I am clumsy enough. So I'm just going to put it paint to paint, kind of, and then I'll put them in trash. Okay. Let's see what happened here. Let's pull up my tape. I really like, oh, did I hit my microphone again? How did I do that? I was almost done. No. Okay. I don't know how I did that. I was almost done and all of a sudden my microphone decided to talk to me. Okay, so if you painted with me, it doesn't matter if you painted with me live or later, 
post your picture in the group. Share. Show us what you did. I would love to see it. I would love to give you um, um, lots of love for your beautiful work. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to let it show it. So that's... That's me. That's all done. Done painting. All right. I hope you had fun. You are very welcome, Janice. You are so very welcome. Janice, did you paint? I want to see. <laughs> Hold on just one second, you guys. If you have one second, I'm going to show you what we're painting next week. I know you have access to my events and stuff. So you really don't need to, to have me show you, but I really like to share like this. This is what we're painting next time. This is going to be fun. I promise. This is so much fun. All right. See ya. See ya sometime online. Have a great night. Bye.